Chime, 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 uh, I'm here to praise those in the armed forces. Both the army, police, navy, air force, whatever armed forces you belong to. But there's something I saw on the internet. A policeman brutalizing a civilian. I've seen several cases of army men brutalizing civilians. Look, you guys are tasked to take care of the civilians, to watch over us, not for you to come and beat us. Because I see a lot of army men and some policemen having that mentality of uh, they are civilians, we have to brutalize them. They've given you the task to take care of us. You are the ones bullying us. Please, help us to help you. Because as a human being, without that uniform, my brother, you are nothing. You put the uniform now, you are equal to me. The only thing that gives you that power is the uniform. One thing you should know that after 35 years of service, you will still come back to civilian life. That's if you make it to civilian life after 35 years. You don't want to start making enemies now that you are still in service. I know you are executing the orders of the government. I praise you for that. But you have to still stay away from things that will put the civilian populace into jeopardy. Give yourself some sense. Because some people now, when they wear that uniform now, sense don't run one for their head. They, they look all of us like, like say we be, we be, we be chicken. We go just waste all of us. Please. We are your friends. Help us to help you. Because when you retire, after your 35 years of active service, you will still need the civilians to work or to do business. So, a lot of them that were in service, the mistakes they made were they didn't make enough friends when leaving service. Now they're out of service. Many of them, I know many of them roaming up and down the streets of Lagos. They cannot find anything to do with yourself. They end up as security people. If you see this video and you are an armed forces person, this is my plea to you. As much as you discharge your job, try to be professional about it. It doesn't result to beating, slapping of somebody before you can discharge your duties. I know we can be very stubborn, but try as much as possible to stay away from physical violence. This is what I preach to you. I pray you make it to 35 years of service so that we we'll celebrate you at the end of the day. This is my message to all those in the armed forces. <laughs>